Hello. Welcome to another video on Stories with Scylla. This week we are reading... Rhinos don't eat pancakes! Do you agree? Let's see what happens when rhinos do eat pancakes. Let's go! Hello again everyone! This week we're going to read a funny story called Rhinos Don't Eat Pancakes by Anna Kemp and Sarah Ogilvy or maybe Ogilvy, I'm not sure. This book was written by the same people that wrote Dogs Don't Do Ballet. Have you read that one? That was a funny one too. <laughs> now let's see what happens when a rhino comes to visit. Look at that, she's flipping a pancake right into the rhino's mouth. Okay, here we go. Do you ever get the feeling That's your mum and dad aren't listening to a word you say. You do? Then you are just like Daisy. Here she is. Her mum and dad never listen. Daisy could tell them that their hair was on fire or that the dog had eaten the postman, but they would just nod and say, that's nice, dear. Or tell your grand. Or, can't you see I'm on the phone, Daisy? So when, one day, Daisy had something really important to say, guess what? Nobody listened. So, this is what happened. <gasps> oh! Daisy was eating her breakfast when a big purple rhino strolled into the kitchen. Doom, 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 doom. That's right, a big purple rhino. It was as big as a bus and as purple as a plum. What colour are rhinos normally? They're not purple, are they? It was also a bit pickish, so it took a chomp of Daisy's pancake and went upstairs. Thank you. There it is. There's what's left from the chomp of the pancake. Mum! Mum! Daisy called. There's a big... Tell your dad, said Mum. He'll catch it in a mug and throw it out of the window. The rhino? Mum? Oh, Mum's a bit busy. Dad! Dad! said Daisy. There's a big, there's a huge shh! said Dad. The spider can wait. Dad's busy too. Dad's busy doing the laundry. It's not a spider! Daisy shouted. It's a big purple rhinoceros! But as usual, nobody listened. Meanwhile, the rhino made himself right at home. Daisy saw him in the hall and glimpsed him in the garden. There he is, just casually sitting down. And there he is, hanging out in the garden. She spied him in the bathroom and surprised him on the loo. Hey! <laughs> but every time she tried to tell her parents, they would say, Shh, Daisy, can't you see we're busy? <laughs> Look at the rhino surprise on the loo. Ooh. 
I wonder if rhinos use toilet paper. <laughs> Daisy's parents were busy all week. So Daisy began to talk to the rhino instead. Soon they became good friends. They played hoopla and made pizza together and the rhino tickled Daisy until she thought she'd burst. But Daisy's parents didn't notice. There they are, having some pizza. Daisy's only having one slice and the rest is eaten by the rhino. <laughs> and there the rhino is tickling Daisy. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, <laughs> uh, friendship. Until the pancakes ran out. Who ate all the pancakes? Yelled Dad, looking straight at Daisy. Huh? Tell me. It was the rhino she said. Rhinos don't eat pancakes, said Dad. This one does, cried Daisy. I saw him in the kitchen. A rhino, said Mum. In the kitchen, said Dad. Yes, said Daisy, exactly. Mum and Dad roared with laughter. <laughs> Whatever next, they hooted. A shark in the toilet? A polar bear in the fridge? There he is, look, Daisy yelled, look. But mum and dad were so busy laughing, they didn't even notice. Oh, all the time the rhino was right back there. Come on, rhino said Daisy. The rhino is looking a bit upset. I've had enough of this. The rhino tickled Daisy with his horn. But she was far too glum to giggle. Mum and Dad never listen, she sighed. They're always a million miles away. The rhino sighed deeply through his big purple nostrils. I'm sorry, Rhino, said Daisy. Your family are a million miles away too, aren't they? The Rhino nodded and a lilac tear rolled down his cheek. <sighs> Poor Rhino. Aww. They feel so away from their family. That night, Daisy sat up thinking of ways to get the rhino back home to his family. Hmm, a hot air balloon. Aha, that could work, but he was too heavy for a hot air balloon. Imagine putting a rhino on one of those. It would just go bloop, and it would never go up. And too big for Daisy's rubber dinghy. There it is. That won't work, it won't float. She thought about lending him her bike, but the helmet would never fit and you can't ride a bike without a helmet, right? That's not going to work. The next morning, Mum and Dad had a surprise. We're taking you to the zoo, said Mum, so you can see a real rhino. What do you think of that? grinned Dad. Daisy thought it was a stupid idea when there was already a perfectly good rhino sitting on the sofa in the living room. That's silly. But she didn't say so. What was the point? Nobody would listen. There they are, going to the zoo. At the zoo, Daisy saw yellow giraffes. Ah. Did you know that giraffes like to eat ice cream? <laughs> Orange and black tigers and grass green snakes. 
but she couldn't help thinking about her poor purple rhino. Hurry up, Daisy, said Mum. The rhinos are this way. Come on, look. The rhinos are this way. You need to follow the signs, Daisy. But what was this? Missing big purple rhino. Likes pancakes. If found, please call the zoo. <gasps> Cripes! Gasped Mum. Well, that explains the pancakes, gasped Dad. Mum, Dad and Daisy rushed back home. <laughs> and guess what they saw when they got there? That's right, the biggest, purplest rhinoceros in town. What did I tell you, Daisy said, grinning from ear to ear. Guys, what did I tell you? <laughs> you didn't listen. Oh my God. Their sofa must be really big though, can you imagine? But uh oh, the rhino broke the sofa, it just went oh. Whoopsie daisies. This rhino really just loves pancakes. I'm phoning the zoo, said mum. The rhino looked startled. Huh? No, said Daisy, not the zoo. He needs to get back to his family. They are a million miles away. Well, we'd better get a move on, said Dad. The next flight to a million miles away leaves this afternoon. Hmm, let me see, we have a couple of hours. The rhino packed his suitcase while Daisy found his hat. The rhino has been living with them for quite a while, so he's got some stuff to take home now. Then they all pushed his big purple bottom into the back of the car. One, two, three. <laughs> One more time. One, two, three. <sighs> and drove to the airport. I'll miss you, said Daisy as the rhino boarded the plane. The rhino gave her a big purple hug. He would miss her too. I wonder how the rhino is going to fit in the plane, but maybe they have a rhino seat. Back at home, Daisy began to feel lonely again. Who would listen to her now? But little did she realise that everything was about to change. Ooh. Tell us about the rhino, Daisy, said Mum. Yes, said Dad. Tell us about that big purple pancake-eating rhino. So Daisy told them about the hoopla and the pizza and the tickles. And guess what? They listened and listened until she had completely run out of words. It was brilliant. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? asked Mum as she tucked Daisy into bed that night. Daisy looked out onto the landing. There's a there's the landing. She's looking out at the landing. Do you see anything? Anything interesting? Mm -hmm. all for now said Daisy smiling night 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 darling Mwah. the pink polar bear would have to wait till tomorrow <laughs> oh my god she is just having so many visitors What's the pink polar bear doing here now? Maybe this one was friends with the rhino and the rhino was so happy to be in this house that she came for a visit too. <laughs> that was Rhinos Don't Eat Pancakes 
by Anna Kemp and Sarah Ogilvy. I hope you like that story. It's a good one, right? It's really funny. I just love funny books. You can also find other books by these writers. And they all look like this, the colours. So you can find them very easily. Do you like pancakes? Or if a rhino came to your house, what would you give to the rhino? Maybe you would give them a sandwich or some eggs. Or a Turkish breakfast even. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to send me a message or you want to just share how you feel about my videos, please go to my Instagram at Stories with Scylla. Until next week, goodbye!